Cornelius, uh, just what have you seen development, developmentally wise uh, from the wide receivers and, and Cade just throughout the season chemistry? He started throwing a lot more, I think, once, uh, after that Wisconsin game. Playbook seemed to open up a little bit. What, what's that development been like? It's just something we work on like every day, like even in um, days when we're not like at the stadium or on game days, coming in and practice, like we take have to take that very seriously because it's something that translates into the game days. So, uh, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, the first play of the game or the last play of the game, you know, if they call your number, it's one of those situations where you, don't, you never know when the ball's coming to you, so you just got to be ready at all times. So that's something we're focusing on for sure. What have you noticed just the uh, Offensively, I mean, it seems like kind of reminds me a little bit of the 26, 2016 team. You guys have a lot of weapons. I mean, yourself, you can make big plays. Roman Wilson's had big plays. I mean, Dalen Baldwin, when he was in, I mean, just kind of describe the, the depth and that talent of the, the wide receiver group. Yeah, I think we're a really good, good uh, group. We, we pride ourselves on being like a crew, like always close together. Um, we even got like group chat and everything. We're always like, you know, staying close to each other, helping each other out. And, um, on and off the field. So keeping that bond together is something we want to uh, uh, keep going throughout the rest of the season, uh, and especially going into Miami. It's just making sure we're all locked in and um, helping each other out and playing for each other. That's how, what we focus on. How active is that group chat right now? I mean, that group chat's always going off. Like, it can, it, it can be a first thing in the morning or like at random times, just people sending uh, just random uh, stuff in the chat and always getting us laughing and stuff. It's just really funny. Steve, <clears throat> I wonder if you could recall all the craziness on the field after the Ohio State game, and, and how you got caught up in that, and then and then after that, talk about the Big Ten championship the same way. Okay, I mean immediately after like the game, um, just like from that standpoint, uh, I remember just looking down for a sec, two seconds, and looking up, and I was just, like I got lost in a pile. Like I was like trying to figure out, like I couldn't find any of my teammates. I was like, oh. Like, I got to figure out what's going on. And eventually, um, I just was, I was around just a bunch of random students. And like, eventually I found my, found my way back to the locker room and uh, we were celebrating, you know, people in the locker room were jumping, jumping around, high-fiving each other. Um, it, you can just tell it was one of those wins that like, uh, you only experience a couple times and like, uh, for us to be in that moment. And then we were able to come back the very next week, seven days later, and put together, uh, put some on tape that was able to get us the Big Ten championship. And it's something that like, is important not to get too high, not to get too low um, after games, because there's always the next, and always ways to improve. Isaiah? Cornelius, talking to some of your teammates last week, they had said that none of, none of you guys are surprised that you're in the college football playoff. Why is that, that you're not surprised? Well, the reason why, uh, some people may have said we're not we're not surprised it's because um, sort of what we were talking about earlier, just taking it like day by day. So if you just take care of each day, I mean, you're not really surprised by um, the work that you put in. So uh, like all the work we've done in the summer, all the work we've done throughout the season, uh, is, it eventually finds its way to shine. And, you know, it's not, it's no surprise that uh, some of the awards and some of the uh, victories and the place we're in right now is, um, as a result of all the effort and all the whole the whole process that's been going on. One of the other things that was talked about was the fact that you're not changing anything because everything that had got you to this place was what you had done throughout the season. But how do you kind of keep things even keeled, knowing that you have the college football playoff and a potential national championship here? Yeah, like we were saying earlier, just keeping a level head, um, not trying to like change or do anything different necessarily. Uh, just play our brand of football, and uh, just because you know, we won a few games, um, you know that's 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 good. But we got we got we got another opponent on the line, so we just got to focus on that opponent, which is uh, Georgia Bulldogs. Angelique, how does one become an effective punt blocker? Um, it's one of those things where you only get one shot, so like you may only get one shot throughout the game. So all, all I'm thinking in my head is like. It may it may be it may be the first play, uh, if your first rep. But if you don't get if you don't get it on that first rep, you know you always come back and uh, spin spin the ball spin the ball again. And then uh, it's just like some funny, like I just be thinking in my head just uh, anything to like 
get myself excited for that moment because you can only get one shot sometimes. So you got to be ready when that when that snap is called.